Photogrammetry is a method of reconstructing three-dimensional models from overlapping sequences of images. In 2014, Hurricane Gonzalo generated powerful tornadoes and uprooted many trees in Athens, Georgia of the United States. Here, you see an animation based on a photogrammetric model of the same treefall gap. This three-dimensional point cloud model was generated from over 5,000 overlapping photographs using the application Reality Capture. The original camera positions are visualized by little white triangles surrounding the root plates. The flight path and keyframes guiding the virtual camera are shown in blue. Photogrammetry provides a versatile tool for accurate quantification of many parameters and indices used in studies of forest gaps. Photogrammetric monitoring can be useful for understanding the dynamics of material cycling in forest ecosystems. For instance, volumetric measurements of pits and mounds can quantify bioturbation rates. Similarly, detailed reconstructions of gaps allow estimation of light levels and growth based on the day of the year and latitude. The spatial data can be very informative when collected in a time series. The power of time series photogrammetry is evident from a study that used drone imagery collected in monthly intervals in Barrow, Colorado Island, Panama. Here, a canopy gap is photogrammetrically reconstructed based on sets of images taken a month apart. The disturbed area is delineated by a blue line. Photogrammetric elevation models can quantify treefall gaps with great accuracy. The black area in the grayscale panel shows a sharp drop in the canopy. G-Lite is an airborne imaging system operated by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Using the LiDAR and hyperspectral thermal imager, it collects multi-layered data to map terrestrial ecosystems. The LiDAR instrument sends out rapidly pulsating laser beams at a rate of 600,000 pulses per second that bounce off of leaves and branches. NASA researchers compared detailed 3D point cloud renditions of forest canopies in the Brazilian Amazon, captured during aerial surveys in 2013, 2014, and 2016. Here, data from 30 mile swaths near Santarém, Brazil, showed trees present in 2013 were likely logged by 2016. Puerto Rico exemplifies a tropical forest adapted to extreme hurricane disturbance. Forest types of the island are well defined along its altitudinal gradients. In another series of G-Lite flight campaigns over Puerto Rico, Hurricane Maria's devastating impact on El Yunque National Forest can be seen in this split-screen visualization. The dense, lush forest canopy of 2017, captured before Hurricane Maria is on the left. The thinned canopy of 2018 is on the right. After the hurricane, the forest floor became more exposed. Frequent hurricane disturbance makes this island a prime location for research focusing on adaptations to rapid forest recovery. How the gap phase dynamics will play out during post-Hurricane Maria regeneration is a subject worth investigating. The utilization of photogrammetry, LIDAR, and hyperspectral thermal imaging 
provides a significant enhancement in our capacity to comprehend the rapid transformations occurring within forest ecosystems. Treefall gap dynamics has been a hot subject for many decades, especially among tropical ecologists, for it carries clues to how diversity is maintained in ultra-species-rich forests. By compiling footage from tropical and temperate forests from Panama, Singapore, Turkey, and the United States, this documentary is an attempt to summarize key elements of this ecological phenomenon. If forest managers can support conditions that favor mosaics of communities that mimic the patchy and cyclical dynamics of unmanaged forests, the conservation value of lands under human pressure can increase. 